Air India has laid plans to strengthen capacity building. The current capacity is about uh, half a million tons. With the with the uh, the injection of the capacity in terms of white bodies coming into the fleet, uh, in about three or four years' time, we see the capacity growing from 0.5 million tons to 2 million tons. So that's a big growth uh, for an airline based in India. And we are also trying to develop the transshipment so that the transshipment volumes contributing about 25-30% of the volumes uh, to us network-wide. Delhi will continue to play a major role. Today, we are not very significant. Possibly 10-12% is what is transshipment. Uh, and then we are kind of working with the government to change the transshipment policy to make that process uh, and the facilities more efficient. So we would like to carry cargo all the way from North America to Australia. We do that today, but not in great volumes. But I would like to see the volume increasing and contributing more to the uh, more to the airline in, more, more to the airline in terms of volumes and uh, and the and the and the revenue. Gina and company to expand its presence in new markets. We plan to see significant expansion in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, USA is also another market we hope to enter into with a good amount of force and energy. Rima Transport have expressed their desire for better facilities and support from the government. There is a few things in place but there's a lot which needs to be done. In, for example, they should have recreation places for drivers to rest at subsidized rates. Uh, we as transporters do our bit but I think that is important. At every few kilometers the driver should have a resting place. Uh, they should have sanitization, they should have food at subsidized rates. They have to be motivated, right? Uh, of course, we are doing a lot when it's coming to infrastructure. I think government is doing a brilliant job in building highways. But I think this aspect really needs to be taken care of. Also, driver recognition. I think that is also important, which I think needs to be taken into consideration. DP World has signed multiple MOU worth rupees 25,000 crore with the government of Gujarat to develop new ports, terminals and economic zones.